welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an approach to an original character design I completed a while back but never really talked about. Ashley the Skull Girl. This character, in which I named Skull Girl, was originally intrigued by the mask used for the Day of the Dead holiday in Mexico. I wanted to use it as a piece that a trained assassin would use to conceal their identity. I always loved the Day of the Dead holidays as I loved the artistic look and how different skulls could actually look. I never really jumped into a sketch, but by playing a game called Shadow of the Tomb Raider and saw in all the cutscenes in Mexico they were celebrating the holiday. It looked awesome and then I knew my assassin was going to be female as they gave off a beautiful yet dangerous vibe. Later, I spoke to an employee at work where I eventually named the girl Skull Girl for her, Ashley, for her help in making this character come together. She talked about a guest who came that was dressed in dark cloth like clothing and she personally loved what she wore but was too scared to approach her. I quickly asked for her details and began sketching an idea for the look and the now Ashley Skull Girl character. And that's how the original sketch began, where I combined Ashley's description of the dress of the customer to a skull mask used at Day of the Dead, and how Laura Croft used that to be a dangerous assassin in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I always loved the very white makeup used in a geisha's face from Japan that I really used as the last piece for the final detail for the character's face. I then started to use all the references to draw the final pose. I usually use a mechanical pencil as it's my favorite to sketch and to define details with at blue lead at 0.5 millimeters. Here is the final sketch when all was said and done and all the design elements were put together. We will use Photoshop in combining this design but you can use anything you like that gets you there and is more comfortable for you. Later, I scanned the sketch into the PC digitally and changed the settings to black and white to clean up the lines. After this, I will import the newly black and white line sketch into Photoshop or Painter, in this case, of course, I'm using uh, Photoshop. I went ahead and made the top layer for color to paint on top of the black and white line sketch. I will paint the colors that I want on its base colors so that I won't divert too much from the original. I will also be adding shadows so I know where my light source will be directed.
After the main foundation, I'll paint more in detail to solidify the entire character by giving it more volume with lights and shadow for the final look. That's it for this look back at a very fun collaboration in making the Skullgirl Ashley character come to life. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Gray, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. And everyone, keep drawing and keep creating. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.